Here we have the NVIDIA GeForce Game Ready Driver version 347.25. Uh, now what comes uh, standard on this driver update is the uh, best gaming experience for Dynelight itself. Uh, another cool feature for the uh, 900 series graphic cards, whereas as mentioned earlier in um, uh, NVIDIA GeForce 2.2.2 is the uh, added functionality of MFAA so it is best supported with this driver update for 900 series graphic cards as this feature is only available on 900 series and you won't be able to see this on 800 series which is what I'm running and I haven't come across that feature and anything below that so um, I, there was reported issues in some of the uh, forms that I was looking at by users who were using 600 to 700 series of the uh, graphics card itself they were saying that the uh, dying light was having issues when they're playing games such as frame rates uh, dropping uh, randomly at different parts of the uh, map itself uh, and that uh, there was some lag issues and some stuttering that was also found by some different users. Uh, now I haven't encountered that issue myself because I'm using the 800 series and it is absolutely fine playing the game on, on the 800 series of the uh, graphic card itself. I'm, I'm hitting 60 frames solid on the uh, highest possible settings when I'm using shadow play it does knock down to 40 to 60 depending on where I am on the map. Uh, but I assume that if I update the uh, graphic card uh, driver to this, uh, that it should be stable then, uh, even when using Shadow Play. Um, but those of you who have the 900 series graphic cards, I would certainly say recommend that update your driver version to this, as it will uh, not only uh, fix your issues on dying light, but it will also uh, enable the uh, support uh, for the uh, feature MFAA on your card, uh, where it will make uh, best possible uh, use of it uh, during your gameplay, uh, not only for dying light, but for any of the other uh, DirectX 10 titles that you might own or DirectX 11 titles that you might have. Um, so. So yeah, it's, it's a certainly a recommendation and I would recommend to everyone out there that do update it, uh, regardless of having 900 series cards or not, it is it was certainly improved loads of issues in your game. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it also helps you in understanding the uh, update for the NVIDIA GeForce and this latest driver. Uh, please do make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, make sure to hit that like button too. Uh, and any issues, I'll get back to you guys uh, very shortly. Peace out.